Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we're actually going to do Sharpshooter. So we got to do Sharpshooter and uh, Crossbow. So I think uh, I think you all know what build we're going to be going for today. It's called the, uh, the Crossbow Normal Bow build. It's a fantastic build, actually. Works really, really well. Never failed me before. I don't use the uh, Rack'em Up anymore. Because it's not useful with uh, the bow. It does not give you any benefit. Because you can't shoot fast enough. To, uh, to actually get any rack -em ups with the bow. So, I just don't use it. And then I usually go for the center fire plus the bow. Actually, not the crossbow, but... You know, hey. What you gonna do, right? Dude, I had that mouse right over his face, and then you just come in like, man, I'm going to save you, and then you did. But not me, but him. Uh, I can run around here probably, right? Yeah? Maybe? Please? Thank God? I feel so slow not on Gunslinger. That's like the real big thing, is... Just how slow you are when you're not playing Gunslinger. Because Gunslinger is, is a quick boy, you know? Gunslinger is a quick boy. And then Sharpshooter is uh, is not so much of a quick boy. I can't even outrun these dudes, like, just walking. Okay, I can't outwalk them, I guess. I'm not running, so... Honestly, like, this is probably a better weapon for this wave for my playstyle. I believe you can one-shot these guys in the face when you're crouching and not moving. You know what? We got two bullets left. Let's take it out in one. Okay. Apparently not. Not one. In fact, uh, not even two. If I made the headshot on the first dude, it might have worked. It might have worked. Might have, could have worked, okay? It didn't, but sometimes you just gotta, you gotta take the L, okay? So we're gonna go for some crossbow. We can pick up ammo, like, laying around, and we're, we're gonna, because we need ammo really, really badly. Give me that ammo. Heck yeah. All of these things are like ammo. I think you can get ammo out of, like, some crates and stuff, too, like, uh... I don't know. There's the little weird things that spawn ammo in the Borderlands series. Is this spawn ammo? Can I get that thing? I don't know, man. I like this map, though. Arid Zedlands. It's a good map. We're gonna have to kill a lot of things with the crossbow to get all of that. Crossbow damage dealt? Which means we're going to be using it as our primary weapon for uh, a little bit. It does do quite a bit of damage and piercing. So we can get like multiple shots or multiple kills per, which is pretty fantastic actually. Look at all that. Look at all those stalkers, man. What the heck? Not even a one shot? I didn't hit you right in the chest, I guess. Also, like, there's this vignette or whatever that's gone as on this map, so I can't see, like, my health getting lower, you know? That hurts. That sucks. I really rely on that to tell me that I'm dying. And I do not get it. And that's, uh, kind of a problem, actually. You get out of here, and you also die. Alright, give me my, my my arrows back, please, and thank you. See ya! I love that you can pick these back up. It's so useful. See ya! I Means shooting these guys is not really that big a deal, because you can very easily get your arrows back, because they go right into the ground. If you can actually make it back there, anyway, which is a whole nother thing. 
Also, the center fire is not a bad weapon, so we got a bit of a good setup going on here, right? Not interested, mate. Not even a little. The like little thingy here doesn't actually show where you think the the crosshair in the scope doesn't actually show where your bullet's gonna go, which would be cool if like while your gun's slinging around, you uh, like the bullets came out at a different angle. That'd be really cool, but I don't think that actually happens. So. Wow, a one shot straight up to the face? I didn't know it was that good. I mean, it was good, but like, dang. And we're very close to being done with this weapon, so that'll be good. Crossbow is not really a viable weapon um, for a sharpshooter. It doesn't do that much damage. Apparently, enough to one shot a bloat to the face. Um, but it doesn't do that much in the grand scheme of things. So we can upgrade this, I believe, twice. Um, I believe. And then, uh, still make space for the bow, I think. And then the bow is just... I mean, the bow is really good. Like, the bow is extremely good. Crossbow's also pretty good. I mean, it's not a bad weapon. It's just not, like, super viable in the end game because you don't get... I mean, you have so few bullets, quote-unquote. Um, it's not really a viable weapon for, like, a primary. Centerfire is much better because you can one-shot these guys in the chest. You don't actually have to go for headshots. And while I'm not using the... Uh, don't think you can one-shot those guys. Oh, you can. These guys, though, you have to one-shot in the face. But these guys, you can just pop them wherever. Not in uh, six man. In six man, I believe you do have to shoot them in the face. But we're not in six man. We're in one woman. Much easier. Okay, so you get a crossbow to the face. And then another crossbow to the face. And you also get a crossbow to the face. And you get a crossbow to the face. Look at all these crossbows to the face. You see all these crossbows to the face? Look at all these crossbows to the face. Sandifier also works just fine. Sandifier is not much weaker, especially once it's upgraded. It's not really, like, significantly weaker than a crossbow. I mean, like, if you upgrade the crossbow, then, like, the upgraded Sandifier is not as good as the upgraded crossbow. But you're not upgrading a crossbow, dude. It's not a weapon that you upgrade. I mean, maybe it is. I don't upgrade it. I don't think it's that good. It's only, like, good enough. It's so weird looking through the scope, though. Because, like... Alright, look, look. You see you see how these have these black, like, cell shading wannabe things? Not no more. <laughs> like, look at this. Boop. <laughs> it's like, you're looking through it, and it's... This weird high def thing. It's it's very, very bizarre. It's so weird. Like they look normal, but they don't because it's not what they're supposed to look like in this map, you know? It's just it's weird, man. Where's the other one? I saw somebody somewhere, right? Right over there? Where are you? Hello there, buddy Oh, Are you turned? That's not fair. That's not fair. It's actually not fair. Get rid of the crossbow. Get an actual bow. Upgrade the center fire once more. Oh. No. <laughs> uh, that one hurt. That one hurt me deep inside. That one hurt. 
So with the upgraded twice, I wonder if I can... Where's this? I hear some dudes coming who are... Problems. But no longer problems. Shot to the face. Shot to the face. Apparently not shot to the face. Because I'm horrible at this game. Oh, maybe it is a one shot with you crouching. And not with you not crouching. Maybe that's what it is. But the, uh, the one that I one shot to the face had... Uh, taken damage from like a center fire shot that made it to it somehow or something like that maybe because I thought I killed one that uh, when I wasn't crouching but it might not be possible I thought I thought I did though but I guess I didn't because I'm pretty sure at least one of those was a shot to the face and they survived yeah like that can give you ammo if you uh, interact with it See, I don't mind exploding those guys because it actually kind of messes up the, the other crawlers. In a, in a team match, you really don't want to because people will be aiming at it and they're not prepared for the explosion and uh, whatnot. But solo, like, it's actually kind of useful to not hit them in the face. It can be, anyway. At any rate, it's not really a big deal to not... Yeah, you still have to shoot them in the face. Even with the twice upgraded... I don't mind the sharpshooter, it's just so slow, you know? It's kind of like a slower gunslinger with different weapons. That's kind of how I view it. I guess that the, the gunslinger is really just a faster um, sharpshooter, but, you know, whatever. It's actually a two-shot on Hell on Earth's six man, the bow, to, uh, to the big Zeds, which is just... Like, that's really good, you know? That's that's really really good. That is a lot of, of damage in uh, in in one shot, and you reload it pretty quickly too. Like it's not super fast, but it, it's fast enough, you know. Yeah, there's a little little ammo crate in there. Nice, little nice touch. I like that they did that. I feel like they added too many personally, but eh, it's fine. You know? Let's try the snipe. Not really much of a snipe because I had to take a bit of time to uh, take it, but it's fine. That one felt pretty good though. That one was not a bad shot. Let's go take this boss out with the, uh, the bow. It's not going to be... It's not going to be much of a fight. It's going to be entirely one-sided. What, what side is the one that's winning? I'm not sure. <laughs> one of us is going to utterly annihilate the other one. I don't know which one it will be that does it. But this will not... There, there will not be any kind of... Um, and it's probably going to be me that's that's getting annihilated on this one. Because King Flesh Pound versus the Sharpshooter with the bow. Not really the best fight. Honestly. See if we can get at least one shot off on his face. Nope. Like, look at that damage, though. It's it's incredible, right? Like, if I knew that it was the King Flesh Pound, I probably would have gone for, like, M14 with uh, rack em ups I know there's a command to check, but I don't really know it. The bow is not very good against the King Flesh Pound, though. The bow is super duper not really that good. Okay, we want to turn around. Why couldn't I get launched better than that? A little bit annoyed by that one. Yep, we've got a moment here to take a shot. Let's take a shot. It's a good shot there. We're making it pretty decently here though 
got another chance to make another shot. Take it when you can, right? This shield is really kind of the problem because uh, this this might be the deciding factor between whether we were able to take him out or not. Yeah. Yeah, that quarter pound, man. Yeah, the bow and center fire against the king flesh pound is uh, is not very good in my opinion on the sharpshooter. Anyway, maybe the center fire on the gun. Well, the center fire on the gunslinger is actually really good. Totally could take out the king flesh pound. Um, but you're just so slow as the sharpshooter that the king flesh pound. You really need something where you can like spam out shots and then reload pretty quickly, like the M14, Fal. Um, yeah. The bow, just, it's not very good because you need to be crouching, you need to actually hit the face. It does a ton of damage, but... Yeah. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.